Hello, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. So, Sag, you have family changes. Let's see that. Then you have relationship dynamics, um, motivation, and then sentimental feelings. All right. So, what I'm getting from these cards is somebody wants to make a change. This is like... Um, Somebody could be married already in a relationship couple. Something about the relationship. Somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants to divorce or separate. But they're questioning their motivation. If they do this, then where are they going? If they go, if they break up their marriage, if they break up their relationship, then what are they doing? It's like somebody kind of wants both. But at the same time, they know that they're kind of miserable. Maybe stringing someone along or... I don't know. It's just like more like so the leftover residual feelings for the relationship. The sentiment is still there. There could even be somebody that came in between the relationship. So now somebody feels differently. Whatever this change is, it's going to affect everybody. It's going to affect everyone involved, not just you and them or you. It's going to affect everybody. Somebody could have already gotten married or moved in with someone. And there's a big change, a big shift that has happened here. With the relationship dynamic, now it's different. The dynamic is different. Now, now you got to move your dog, your cat in, your mom, your, your brother, I don't know, whatever. The dynamic is different. So now somebody is like, um, all right, like the motivation is different. Like now I got to take care of more or more people or now it's different. We finally got married or we finally made it official. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio I don't know why I'm getting a heavy. It was like somebody wanted to be like the eternal bachelor. It's hard for them to really want to have like this traditional relationship. Now they want relations, but they don't necessarily want a relationship. What's going on here for Sagittarius? Five of Pentacles, like not having enough or not being confident in, um, being left out, feeling used. Somebody doesn't want to change. Oh, somebody's also questioning somebody's motivation. Like, are they trying to use me or what are they trying to get from me? The Five of Wands, yeah. It's like, so this is like chaotic energy. It's like somebody's trying, somebody feels like, oh, they're trying to confuse me with their actions, with their reactions, with their emotions. Because emotions at at the bottom of the deck here. It's like maybe they're trying to confuse me and convince me that they really love me, but I'm a bachelor. I don't fall in love. You know, um I could be I could do this for the rest of my life. But it's like somebody's trying to win you over or get something that they want from you. Yeah, six of pentacles, win you over, shift the power dynamic, get you to concede, to give in to. Someone's like, I just want to give just enough. You know, I don't want to be in a relationship or situationship where I'm I'm the sole responsibility respons like responsibility or reliability or liability something about that. What is that? Okay, you have the lovers here. Okay, I knew that was coming. I could be dealing with a Gemini. So it's an interest. Somebody could have come in between this relationship now into where it's turned into a love affair somebody's ignoring the person that they're already in an established relationship with and now they're giving more attention to this playful little like banter uh texting uh flirting type of situation it provides a lot of you know a uh, fun excitement and now they're giving as little as much as they can to this connection that they've already established where there is reliability or there's like, you know, marriage. Somebody's also made something like contractual, right? So someone's gone and done, you know, um, a life altering change, gotten married when they thought they would be the eternal bachelor, whether it's you, Sag, or someone else. Someone could also be saying, I can only give you but so much now because I'm already in something or I'm married. Somebody's motivation is different now. Someone's also trying to like, you know, uh, have wealth. There's a secret person here. It's like, there's a secret being kept. Yeah, I knew it. 
Somebody's already married, already coupled. There's a secret woman here. Somebody is frantic because they feel like something is falling apart. Or this is the beginning of the end. You know, it's disseminating. Whether this is you, Sag, or the other person, somebody feels like I'm losing my edge or I'm losing my independence. Or I'm losing my freedom. Or um, this, maybe this a side person feels like I'm going to lose my person. I'm going to lose maybe the money that they give me or the attention because now they've gone, they've gone and gotten married on me. Somebody also feels like somebody has ulterior motive. Like somebody wants to just marry into money. They want to have an opulent, affluent life. So somebody is very cautious about maybe making the commitment here. This is, so let's see what the advice is for you, Sag. What's the advice? One card of advice for Sagittarius. One card of advice for Sag. All right, so true love flat out, flew out of the deck. And dark male, so you could be of a darker hue. Somebody feels like there's a secret being kept here. Or um, like somebody's got ulterior motive. You're keeping me in the dark about what you really are trying to do. You're trying to make it seem like this is true love, but hell, I can't trust it. This is how somebody else is coming, you know, into the connection. This is what I have for you. Yeah, it's some mature males. It's like, hmm, look at him. It's like, hmm, is this real or not? This is what I have. If it uh, resonates. Let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also get your own reading. Readings are on sale. 10 minutes for $25. I will link it below. Take advantage. Um, I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday night. Thursday night, I do free questions. I do a collective reading also. Come Thursday um, and get your question answered for free. Uh, next Thursday, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we'll have our Halloween party. I'll be dressed in my costume. Come dressed in yours. Uh, hit the Zoom link so I can see you. You can see me. Um, that's what I have for you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.